I'm I'm Casicario Robinson. Um, I just want to start by letting you know like what energy I'm coming into this with. I recently went through a breakup, um, and it was long term too, which was intense. Um, but it was a long time coming. You know, uh, I I recently had to break up with gender. I had to end my relationship with gender. Um, <laughs> and like it was rough, but like it's you know, I had to be like, hey, listen, it's it's not you, it's me, literally. Like, you're going to make someone so happy. But, like, this is, it was just so toxic between us. Like, it was, I was getting red flags constantly. And after I ended it, I mean, I still think about gender. I still think about them all the time. I mean, I walk through their neighborhood. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm still kind of in love with gender. But look at me. We could have never worked. <laughs> <laughs> it never would have worked between us. Um, I'm... I'm non-binary. I use they, them pronouns. Um, and, and because of that, I've considered tea. Um, but I'm I'm just so addicted to coffee. I feel like tea isn't, <laughs> wouldn't work for me. <laughs> um, you know, like like tea and also um, but I uh, people often say that I I talk about being queer and trans too much. They're like, Kez, it's all you talk about, your comedy, it's all just about you being gay and like trans and and then they go and and misgender me. <laughs> and I correct them. I correct them. And then they're like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Like, I keep, I just keep forgetting. It's so hard. Give me patience. And then I'm like, why do you think I bring it up every five minutes? Why do you think I look like it? Why do you think my bags are covered in rainbow pins? There's a reason. And you still misgendered me. Do you know how many things I have printed that say they, them on them? It's every article of clothing. Every single one. There's a reason. Um, I, my, well, okay, so my name is Kez, which, because it's Kez, a lot of people think it's a name I chose later in life, like a trans name. Um, <laughs> and because of that, um, especially specifically at queer events, whenever I introduce myself, people are like, like, oh, oh, Kez, that's so great. Um, and I'm, I'm always like, thanks, but like my mom picked it out for me. It's not even new. <laughs> it's not even new. Like how embarrassing. Um, and it's, it's hard because, you know, like with a name like Kez, I don't know how my parents ever thought I could be cisgender or straight. <laughs> like it's, let's be real. It's a three letter name ending in Z. My mom nailed it right off the top. Um, <laughs> Uh, I just, I do want to say though, I, I don't have a problem with straight people. Um, I've actually, both my grandparents are straight. Um, but, uh, and a lot of people don't know this about me. I've actually been to a straight wedding. Um, it was really beautiful. Like God, they're both so brave. Um, and <laughs> it was just really, and it made me cry. And you know, uh, my, uh, it made me cry and both their parents came. It was really beautiful. That's my time. <laughs> love your act out you commit to the bit which is great you know a lot of people break sometimes when they're uh, when they're like you know juxtapos juxtaposing one thing with another so i love your commitment to your uh the jokes as well um you know i don't know kez is a cool name it's very star wars i don't know if he's your map moms from tatooine i didn't want to ask what your ethnicity is or anything but uh you know it's you're yes. very memorable yes. yeah it's a my parents are just just white hippies. Yeah, I obviously, you know, I really love I am a fan of um, your comedy. But um, the key thing is that I just love what you do with where you take things that are annoying generally to people that are cis, straight, like, you know, like just and you kind of flip the whole thing around to make people see how they make other people feel. And I think that that's a really hard thing to do. Because you're, you don't do it in a condescending way. You do it in a very, like, you're making it really real and funny. But it's these, it's just a really funny thing to look back on. The, the wedding thing is so funny. Talking about, like, oh, both their parents were there. Which is, like, that hits home so much for the queer community. <laughs> like, nobody really gets how much that hits home sometimes. Um, so, really clever. Really great, like, play on real situations. And just, like, I'm, I mean, you know I'm a fan. So, great job. Great set. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna throw some more love. Uh, the the initial, 
yeah, get it, take it, take it, it's coming. Uh, the uh, initial misdirect, I just, it was great, right? Because I, I bought into it. You like you you had me buy in. I fully believed that you had just gotten out of a breakup and like we were gonna. I was just like, oh man, I hope you make it through your set. Oh, uh, we are. Uh, uh, what's you know what prepared for whatever. Uh, and then you know, but like I bought into it so that when you were like, Haha, it's part of my joke. Uh, you got me, and, and it was great. Uh, and it's a good concept, and I like that. You know, you're using your comedy to get across a message that you want to get across, which is, I think what comedy can be great for is, you know what, this thing that we want to scream at everybody, but if you just grab them by the neck and scream it at them, you're the asshole. So we do it on stage with comedy and yeah, it was, it was well done and well crafted and, and uh, yeah. Thank you very much. The silent thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs>